Hey there, Wedge. Sorry for the speedy introduction, but Talus Group was counting on me to get reinforcements fast. Your commander says you have talent. Enough to steal a Star Destroyer and get away with it. Normally, I'd have Rogue Squadron for this, but General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. Meanwhile, Rogue is handling, well, that's classified too. Uh. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too, at Sky Strike Academy. Yeah. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. Look, I appreciate the talk, but uh, Talus Group's waiting for us. Yep, that's right. So I was actually expecting General Sindula to be joining us. I think that happens later on. But yeah, uh, it's actually displayed in Star Wars Rebels uh, when they say they save, you know, like they get Wedge out of um, Star Sky Strike. Aren't you tossing him in the deep end a little early, Lyndon? Vanguard can handle it, can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for, well, you know. Wedge. Yeah. Dealt at the Battle of Yavin. He knows that system better than the Empire ever will. You'll be fighting on the Rebellion's old turf. So if Wedge has any advice, you'd be smart to listen. You know, a wounded Krakana can still fight. Just watch yourself around that Star Destroyer, huh? Get out there as soon as you can. Sounds good. Off to the hangar. Hey, Grace. So... We're headed to Yavin. In exalted company, it seems. And now we know Project Starhawk needs an Imperial Star Destroyer. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of durasteel plating, turrets, shields. My poor bigoted father called Star Destroyers the fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong. But they can be beaten. If you're good and lucky. Let's stay optimistic. To Yavin then. Let's not delay. Let's not delay. Prepare for launch. The commander wants you on an X-Wing for this mission. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. They disable enemy fighters and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships too. Okay. Sounds good. Let's launch. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, the music just like kicked in. Oh, 
Well, what the hell was that with the subtitle? Did you guys see that? So it's like the last second. Will come from. Okay, Vanguard, on me. Let's head for the Victorum. Right behind you, Wedge. Focus your shields before they open fire on us. You can focus your shield toward the front or back of the ship to maximize protection. You can also balance your shields to weakly protect them. So, hold X. Okay, front or back. Select front. Knock out its targeting system. Let's do it. Putting power to forward shields. All that damage and this thing still. Ion weapon. Ion weapons deal minimal hull damage but are ideal for squad tactics. Use them to disable enemy starfighters, leaving them adrift, easy to target for easy target for your wingmates. Ion weapons are also preferable tool for stripping stripping enemy shields and disabling system spike chips. No wonder Talus Group took a picture just chasing it here. I wanted to see the Victorum go up in flames, but stealing it. Hey, we probably need to get it from the back. Enemies on your tail. Here, we can send the team in here. Five, get a punch, will you? I see that. If I could just find out where this dude is, right there he is. So why is he all the way over here? Right here. 
Oh, that's a. I, all right, I didn't even realize that was a thing. Thought it was friendly. Okay, I just held that left trigger. So it's like objectives, laser attack, last attacker at option. Oh, so it's like objectives and stuff, I guess. New wings are on the way. We can bring the boarding team in safely. Follow me to the rendezvous. We'll give them cover. Vanguard, let's go. Morning team, we have you on our sights. Ready to take on a star destroyer? Copy, Captain Antilles. Just get us there and we'll do the rest. You heard him back on. Guide those U wings into position. Stay sharp. What about the Star Destroyer's crew? If our boarding party takes the bridge, they'll slice internal security systems. The crew will be a problem with no computer access, and all the blast doors locked. We've got an Imperial carrier. They're launching reinforcements. They're not giving up the Victoria without a fight. Let's get them. Advanced targeting. By default, your targeting systems will only cycle through objectives, but you can change that with the targeting wheel. For instance, you can set your targeting to flagship systems to focus on the subsystems of a deadly star destroyer, or all enemies to target enemies that are not mission critical, such as TIE fighters up ahead. Hey, this is what I just discovered on my own, so... Hold left trigger to open the targeting wheel. All enemies. Ryan. Another one. And two. And three. Carriers. That's a lot. Get ready, everyone. We're in. Taking control now. <laughs> that Star Destroyer's taking down its own carrier. What a sight. Yes. Project Starhawk has a Star Destroyer. 
That was easy. Mission complete. Metal info. Saved Frisk from a deadly tail. Discovered the Victorum's breach point on the first scan. Alright, well, I would have done that if it didn't tell me to scan the other position, but whatever. Continue. Thank you. Now that was a fun mission. Even better than beating my time on the Death March circuit. We got to steal a Star Destroyer and help our friends doing it. And see Yavin. We still have allies on the fourth moon, but I've never been there. There was an energy at Yavin like I've never felt anywhere else. It was chaotic and serene all at once. The Empire corrupts the energy of every planet it touches. But I can always feel the good buried beneath that. And that's what we fight for. The good. Yeah. Anyway, I saw Frisk bothering Commander James earlier. Knowing Frisk, the Commander might appreciate some backup. Roger that. What's up, Gunny? Now the Empire's gonna want that Star Destroyer back. Good. Let's see him try and take it. You know, back home after the Empire invaded Mimbin, we stole an armored transport hauler full of scout walkers. When the Empire came looking for them, we just turned the walkers against them. Had a real good time. I'm guessing the commander has something similar in mind for the Star Destroyer, right? Otherwise, what's the point? At least Wedge picked the right team for the job, huh? Those slackers in Alphabet Squadron would still be fapping around at Yavin. <laughs> <laughs> Enough yapping. Time to check with the commander and see what's next. I was like, Alphabet Squadron is um, a squadron that was made from the book Alphabet Squadron. They're like another squad or a part of the story, so that's a nice Easter egg or reference. Cool. Next one, Mr. Gonk. Not now, Frisk. I'll answer your questions once the Star Destroyer has been delivered safely. Delivered where? We risked our tails to get that Star Destroyer. And you can't even tell us where we're going? It's not my call. Besides, I'd be risking a lot of lives if I shared too much too soon. <sighs> you hearing this? After all we did for Project Starhawk. Listen, all I can tell you is the basics. Lander. Soldiers on the Star Destroyer Victorum just sent to Code Yellow. Now? Damn. Call in Vanguard for immediate briefing. Ah, heck. It was just getting good. Why is Frisk basically just Ryuk from Death Note? <laughs> like, he's literally just Ryuk. Okay. It's brief. We have an emergency. The Star Destroyer you captured has unexpectedly fallen out of the hyperspace behind enemy lines. Our troops are repairing the hyperdrive as quickly as possible, but you need to buy them some time. There's an Imperial fleet advancing toward the Star Destroyer Victorum. I want A-Wings intercepting enemy fighters. The rest of Vanguard will provide defense and support. Now, I know Imperial protocol better than most. I have no doubt the Empire will disable the Victorum with ion weapons before sending shuttles to recapture it. Stop them at all costs. The Empire must not reclaim the Victorum. Once the Star Destroyer's hyperdrive is operational, cover its escape so it can jump to safety. I'll send you rendezvous coordinates when the time is right. Sounds good. This is my fault. I underestimated the repair. Now the whole project's at risk. Hyperdrives break, Otto. It's not your fault. They should have suggested you send more engineers to Yavin. And this never would have happened. It's fine. Vanguard is ready. They'll get there in time. Won't you? 
I know, I know. But I'll reach out to Hosni and Prime and requisition a few more engineers. Just in case. Get moving, pilot. Hosni and Prime being the current base or like foundation of the New Republic, which is unfortunately <laughs> destroyed in The Force Awakens. Like immediately. I remember the first time I was trapped behind enemy lines. It was the Battle of Mimbin, the first year of the Clone Wars. The Separatists had dropped a battalion of B-2 droids on the Nan Flatlands, cutting us off from the 224th Pawn Division. A thunderstorm was jamming communications, so I took a skyhopper to rendezvous with the 224, hoping to get some reinforcements. It didn't go well. I was halfway across the Flatlands when those droids shot me down. And believe me, you have never seen a finer crash landing. The only problem was my arm got caught in some wreckage. Figured I'd rather live my life with one arm than sit around and wait for those droids to find me. Besides, you only need one hand to carry a blaster, right? I dragged myself out of those flatlands with only one arm and a seriously sour disposition. I guarantee those clone boys had never seen anything like me before. But they fixed me up. Then they helped us drive those blasted droids right off planet. If only I'd known that three years later those clones would be replaced by stormtroopers. But, anyway. We should head back to the hangar. The Victorum needs us. That's cool. So yeah, the uh, the two hundred twenty fourth of the Mud Jumpers. It's a nice call. Do the Clone Wars? Love the Clone Wars. Oh, we're gonna be in A Wing this time. We were just talking about what happened to the Victorum. Keo had one of those. Uh, what do you call them? It's just a hunch for us, that's all. So what do you think happened? I feel like it was the Imperials. They probably sabotaged the hyperdrive before our soldiers could get them off the ship. I know it sounds wild, but when Keo has a hunch, they're usually right. Don't listen to him, it's really not that big of a deal. On Miriel, we're taught to respect and listen to the Force. I can't reach out and touch it like... Well, like others could, but sometimes I just have a feeling about things. I don't like to talk about it. These days, you never know who in the galaxy is listening. Now, let's get serious, huh? When are you gonna have a premonition about the Carillion Lottery? Really? People are waiting for us to save them, and you're thinking about credits. Look, you see any numbers, just tell me, okay? They gotta be good for something. <laughs> we really should get going. Okay, so I guess that's like a Finn situation where apparently he just has the force or like something akin to that. Where it's just a feeling. A wings go as fast as you can fly them. Their hull and shields are too light to take on capital ships, but Imperial starfighters won't stand a chance with you in this cockpit. Customize the loadout. We have a few options to make your tie hunting more efficient. Big fan of the rapid fire lasers and barrage rockets myself. Okay, barrage rockets. Sure. I was like, let's just do that. So yeah, probably going through the story, we're going to be able to go over, like, all of the ships and how they work to, like, get you, like, prepared for multiplayer, which is, like, usually what campaigns, like, do in games. Oh, boy. What happened here? Who cares? Our Star Destroyer's in trouble. There's a big wall. Think you can keep those bombers off us? Victorum, sit tight. Five, intercept those time bombers. We need to buy our crew some time. Brisk and I will handle the rest of the starfighters. I'm with ya. Victorum, these bombers are coming in fast. You might want to activate turbo lasers. No can do. Their ion weapons knocked out our systems. We were defenseless until you arrived. Understood. We'll put an end to their bombing runs. Yeah, 
I'm gonna try. are out there. Work fast. Imperial shuttles headed your way. Hold them off. If even one Imperial shuttle reaches us, we'll be overwhelmed. You heard of Vanguard. Intercept those shuttles. We should split up to take them down. Squad at uh, squad commands attack. Target an enemy and tap Y to order an attack. Your wingmates will focus on that target until it's destroyed and give you until you destroyed or you give them a new command. Note if you call for a resupply at any time, the squad will break off from their attack and return to defend you. May I join you? Jesus. The other one. There it is. Hit it. Another shuttle group incoming. They have ties in tow. Command squad defend. You can order a squad to defend your allies. Target a friendly ship or structure. Tap Y. It's your defend order. Destroy ties. Carrier down. Great start. Drive is almost ready. Can you buy us just a bit more time? 
you guys hurry up. I saw this is like something you could do as a drift. In the Koshi Star Circuit. First, transfer all power to your engines and fly as fast as you can. Yes! Now we're gonna buzz the bridge of the Victorum. Be ready to boost. Okay, we're ready to boost. Watch it. When you're ready, turn as hard as you can, then cut your engines to drift. There we go. Okay, I guess that's it. I don't see it as that useful, but okay. We go. Two, one. Punch it. Uh, what? Again. No. Oh shit. Oh man. Well, we gotta get there now. I don't know what happened. Everything was fine, and then our systems just shut down. Sounds like your mob beam nullifier is blocked. Run the system flush, then restart. It should be fine. More Imperial ships. They really want their Star Destroyer back. No, they're here to destroy it. Can you hold them off a little longer? Didn't come this far just to leave you hanging. It's now or never, Vanguard. Protect the Victorum. Roger that. It's a good amount of bombers I just got. 
Oh, nice try. For a raider, let's go. Focusing. Excuse me. Nice. Are there more like raiders or something? Fucking fire. Alright, you're done. Where's that other raider? Yes, it works. We're ready to go. Finally, Vanguard all in behind the Star Destroyer. Don't have to tell me twice. Hmm. I don't know where the last raider went. But let's get out of here. Just go. Happened to our Imperial guy. Now that is a battleship. Oh, whoa. We've been gathering Imperial ships to build this. We call it the Starhawk. 
Hey, it's Hera. General Sindula. Hello, Vanguard. Welcome to the Nadiri Dockyards. I'd give you a tour, but the Empire knows we're up to something now. They'll be looking for us, which means we have work to do. Feels like his efficiency. Oh, Raider record. I didn't get that. 15 minutes or less. Okay, so big goof on that one, I guess. And we'll continue with the the big boom boom ship next time.